how's it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today we will be checking out some more hidden one ui features that most samsung users may not know about these hidden features will surely help you get the most out of your samsung galaxy smartphone guys i'm sure you learn something new and useful from this video so make sure you watch it until the very end also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one with that said drop a like leave a comment and let's get started all right guys first let me show you how to activate this hidden menu which i can access by simply swiping over my two fingers like this whenever i swipe with my two fingers this secret menu gets activated with some useful shortcuts i can mute my phone enable the extra dim feature or i can directly open the magnification view from here this can be super useful at times when you quickly want to mute all sounds activate the extra dim or you just want to open the magnification view now in order to get this hidden menu on your Samsung phone, all you have to do is go to your phone settings, accessibility, then go inside advanced settings. Here you'll get this option which says accessibility button or gesture. Simply click on it and choose a bunch of shortcuts that you'd like to access from the secret menu. You can select as many shortcuts and all these can be easily accessed with just a single swipe. If you want, you can assign it to perform a specific task. For example, instead of selecting multiple shortcuts, I'll just select the extra dim feature. Now every time when I swipe with my two fingers, it activates the extra dim feature without having to open the quick settings panel or go into the settings page. So you can assign it to multiple shortcuts or set it to perform a specific task as per your need. Next up, let me show you a couple of really useful keyboard tricks that will definitely improve the typing experience on your Samsung phone. When you are typing to somebody and you want to convert units, now you don't have to open Google Chrome. Instead, you can directly convert anything right into your Samsung keyboard. Whenever you type any measurement using the keyboard, as you can see I have written 80 cm in height. If I just long press on it, I get the convert button right here on top. And if I tap, it will show all the conversions related to that measurement which I just typed in. We can select whichever we want by simply hitting the copy button. Now let me just bring up Samsung Notes. And here I have this big paragraph of text. In case if I want to select a particular portion or a specific word written within this paragraph, usually there is a cursor which we can place anywhere we want to, but sometimes it gets difficult to put it in a perfect spot. So in such situations, what you can do is, you can make use of this interesting tool called precision cursor control which is hidden inside the keyboard. You simply need to click on this three dot button, then tap on plus and drag the text editing toggle right here. Once done, now when you tap on the text editor, you will be able to put the cursor anywhere on the screen exactly on the spot using the arrows which is present here. There is also an option to select any particular word, then you can copy and paste it anywhere you want to. So when you want to precisely copy or select anything with a cursor, you can use this hidden toolbar which is available inside the Samsung keyboard. Since we are in the notes app, did you know we also have the option to lock notes that might contain some sensitive or important information. So there are times when we have some sensitive data available inside the notes application and if you don't want others to get access to that specific note, in situations like this, you can simply select whichever you want to lock, click on this three dot button and below you'll get this lock icon which will help you to lock that particular note. And the best part is that you can set a different pin or password instead of using your phone's pin. You can then access all your locked notes by using the hamburger menu. I think this is extremely useful if you have stored some sensitive information. You can lock your notes without having to install any third party application on your phone. Next, Samsung has recently added a brand new labs menu and this can be found under the photo editor settings. Since it's not a separate application like the files or gallery app, you need to go into your phone settings, select applications and then look for photo editor. If you go inside photo editor settings, you will find this brand new labs option. If you tap on it, you will get this option called custom sticker clipper. You can set it as automatic or manual. Now when you set it to automatic, whenever you try adding a sticker into your picture, it will automatically clip that image and convert that into a sticker for you. Then you can easily place it anywhere inside the picture. In case you set it to manual, every time when you try to add a sticker, you need to manually clip that image before placing it onto that picture. So this might consume a bit of time when you set it to manual, but if it is automatic, then adding a sticker will be a lot easier and less time consuming for you. So this is the only feature we have got inside the labs menu, but I'm sure they will add many more features with the upcoming updates. 
So right now, if you want to enable this new laps menu, you can do that by going into your photo editor settings. As most of you already know, we get some cool looking clock styles in order to customize the lock screen. You just need to long press, unlock your phone and here you get a bunch of clocks which you can set to customize your phone. But did you know there is a way to add some more unique clock faces? All you have to do is go into your phone settings, select display and then scroll down. Below you'll get this option called font size and style. Go inside and click on font style. Here you will see a list of all the fonts which you have downloaded from the Galaxy store. In case you don't have any fonts here, then just tap on download fonts and now you can easily download some cool fonts on your Samsung phone. Most of them are paid, but you will find some free fonts as well. For example, I have downloaded this Galaxy Game Play font which is completely free on the Galaxy store. So you just need to search and find some cool fonts for your lock screen. Once done, now you don't have to apply a font from this menu because it will get applied to all over the system. So instead, just go back to the lock screen customization page, tap on the clock and look for the plus icon. Here you will see the fonts that you have installed from the Galaxy store. Just select whichever you like and it will get applied directly to the lock screen. So this is how you can download some new fonts and take your lock screen customization to the next level. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some really useful Galaxy One UI features that every Samsung user should know about. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.